Hello everyone, this is Suzanne Ferry Parrot with Unruly Guides. In this video I want to show you how to sign up and use the KDP program with Am Amazon. That's the Kid Kindle Direct Publishing Program. And what you do is if you have never purchased a book from Amazon or ever signed up with them at all, you will have to sign up. Most of us have signed up and so I'm going to sign in and come back. What you do is it will say, you know, if you are not such and such, but you're going to click that button and sign up or you're going to make a new account. When you click the sign in, it's going to ask for your email address and it's also going to say, are you a new customer or an existing customer? And then you're going to sign in. And once you've signed in, you will be presented with your bookshelf, linked with reports, community, and the KDP Select program. Now, the KDP Select program is something that's optional. You do not have to do it. You do have to have 90 days exclusive to Amazon, and if you want to learn more about that, it's right here. They do allow you to have and promote your book for free up to five days, which is kind of nice. But it's the 90-day 90, 90 exclusivity that you have to give them. That means you can't sell it on any other site, including your own. So I suggest you read here before you decide. Now let's say you're making a new, new book. What you're going to do is you're going to click this button here that says add new title. Now before you start, many of you may have a yellow box up here in the right corner about your account. You need to finish filling that in with all the required information such as your name. Um, it's going to ask who the publisher is. That'll be you. And it will also ask for if um, what type of business you are, you'll probably be an individual, and your social security number. It will also show you the different areas in Amazon that it will be selling to, which is including France, Germany, Spain. They're just telling you how you want it, if it's in a check or a direct deposit. Basically, you just need to fill that in before you can publish. So here we're going to just add a new title. And so you just click Add New Title. And when it opens up, you'll be presented with a page where you will populate it with the information about your book. Now up here at the top, this is number one. It says it's blue. It says your book, not started. On the right, it's rights and pricing, not started. So it kind of tells you how far you've gone. Again, here's that KDP select. You don't need to enroll right now. Like I said, I really suggest you learn more, read that, read the terms and conditions. First you need a title of your book, and I'm just going to title this Your Book. You have to have a title before you save it. In other sections here, you may want to have, if it's part of a series, you want to add the series title and the volume and the edition number. Most people do not have that. Here is your description. Now this will be presented below your book in the Kindle store, so you want to make it enticing. not too long unless you have a how-to book, but you, it's basically like your query letter. You really want people to read this and go, wow, this is a book I want to buy. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to add contributors. And what you do is you click the button and usually the first is you. You put your first name and your last name. And then here you're, you select the title. And the title is not Mrs. Mr junior anything like that. It's what you are and I would be an author. Now if you need to add more you simply just click the button add another and you'll notice the titles here. You have author, editor, forward, illustrator, introduction, narrator, photographer, preface, and translator. Now if you have an existing book that was published by another company like a hard bound book they are not the publisher to your digital book you are. So that's why you're labeled the author. You have to remember that. If they supplied you with an ISBN number, it is their ISBN number unless you purchased it. ISBN numbers are purchased and they are linked to the person for publishing, I mean the person who published them or purchased them. They are classified as the publisher. So just understand that this is your book. You are self-publishing. When you get in all your contributors, you click Save. Oop, I didn't have one there, so I'm going to remove that one. And you click Save. And so then it will list it here. I'm an author. So now we're going to go on to video two and continue through with this Amazon um, filling it in. And I'll see you then.